Okay guys, we are going to be going over our weekly number sheet. This is for page two of it. So if you flip to page two, we have three columns, okay? As a reminder, we were working with the number 43 as an example. I'll just put it up here as a reminder, okay? So we're writing the number 43 and it says, this first column says, write the number that is one more. Okay, so it's like you have 43, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. What is one more than 43? If I add one more, one, one, one more. 40, one, two, three, four, 44. Okay, go back to your original number. What is one less? Well, I had 43 here with my, my model. Take one away, one less, 42, 42. Go back to your original number, 43. 10 more. So we take a group of 10 and think about it like this. Now what do we had? We had 43, keep that in your head, add 10. 40, 53, 53. Go back to your original number. Here we're back to 43. 10 less, we're taking 10 away. 10 less, whoop, bumbly fingers. Okay, 10, 20, 33. Go back to your original number, 43. 100 more. That means we're gonna add in a flat of 100. Okay, 143. Oh, that's your number. 143. Go back to your original number. 43. 100 less. I can't. I do not have 100. I only have 43. I can't take 100 away from this unless I'm going to go into the negatives, okay? But until you're in grade five, I'm not expecting you to do that, all right? So, we're done, okay? 100 less, we can't do that. Cross it off. Don't do it. 1,000 more. We can do that. You can add to any number. You just make your number larger. So if I had 1,000 more, if I had a cube, hold on, I need a cube. Okay, I do not have a cube on me, which is 1,000, but I do have 10 hundreds, okay? That makes 1,000. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Okay, 1,000 more. 1,000, 43. Now, how do we write that? Remember our place values. We must hold the place values that don't have anything in them with a zero. So we have now 1,000. How many hundred do we have? None, there are no hundred here in our, our model. So you hold that with a zero. We had four tens, 40, and we have three units, three. Then you can convert back to your regular number, 1,000 less, I cannot take 1,000 away from my 43. So we do not have to do that one until you're in grade five. Okay. Next column on this page, write the digit in the following place values. Write how much it is actually worth. Okay, so remember, our number is 43. What digit is in the ones? Three, right? Here's our 40, oh my gosh, where am I gonna put this? 43. 
Okay? How much is this three worth? It's just worth one, two, three. One, two, three. It's worth, its value is three. Okay? What number is in the tens place value? The number four. The digit four. But the four here is not worth four. It's worth four tens. Each one of these is worth 10. If we have four tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40. Look at the number 40. Four, zero. This number shows you it's four tens. Okay, 40. That's how much it's worth. We do not have any numbers here in the hundreds place value. And we have no numbers in the thousands place value. So we don't have to do those with only two digit numbers. But we have to do those if you have larger digit numbers. Okay, rounding to the nearest. Rounding. We just have to decide what is this number closer to? Okay, rounding to the nearest tens. So here we have our number 43. So that means we start off at the group of tens that we're in, the 40s. And we would go to see if it's closer to 40 or the next group of tens, which would be next group of tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and one more group of tens is 50. Okay. 43, hmm, well halfway between 40 and 50 is 45. That's right at the halfway mark. Five plus five equals 10, so halfway to 40 to 45, or to 50, pardon me, is 45. 43, well we know that's smaller than 45, so 43 is around here on my number line. Okay, so here's 43. Is it closer to 40 or is it closer to 50? Well, it's closer to 40 on this number line. It only has a small distance to go between 40 and 43. And between 43 and 50, it's a larger distance to go. So it's closer to the number 40. We round this number 40. Uh, the number 43 rounds to the number 40. Round to the nearest hundreds. We have no numbers in the hundreds. So we don't have to do this one unless you have a number in the hundreds or the thousands or the ten thousands. Okay? Quick and easy, if you take a look at this, you can tell from this model, this line, number line that I've done, that five is the halfway mark in a 10. The halfway mark in the hundreds would be 50. The halfway mark in the thousands would be 500. The halfway mark in the 10 thousands would be 5,000. So we know that that number with the five, five, 50, 500, and so forth, are the numbers that represent right in the middle of those place values. If you have a digit, for example, this is just an example, 48, just thinking logically, you can look at that number and go 48. Is that closer to 40 or to 50? Well, I know 45 is right in the middle. 48 is larger than 45, so it must be closer to 50. And it would round up to the number 50. Okay, just keep that in mind. Use your benchmarks. Okay, that's how you do page number two. There'll be a video coming up for page number three. All right, take care, guys.